2,000 years ago, God broke his silence, performed a miracle so great and so immense. The Word left his Godhead, power and might, was born as a human being one blessed night. Dressed in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger, the King of Kings could not come any humble. The purpose of his birth, the world was blind, a son sent to be the savior of all mankind. He grew up filled with wisdom, tasked to reveal his heavenly father to us and to fulfill his will. He lived a holy and perfect life, defying the norm as only the true image of God can in human form. He spoke with authority and taught with zeal. He had great compassion for those he healed. He turned water into wine and calmed the storm. He walked on water midst the waves and foam. Multiplied loaves and fishes so multitudes can be fed. In humble prayer, he raised Lazarus from the dead. Made the lame walk, you to speak, the blind to see. Took people with unclean spirits and set them free. He gladly transfigured before Peter, James, and John, so they can witness what someday we can all become. The glory and majesty of someone who is spirit-born, life and existence that man will never find on his own. But do you know what God's greatest miracle is? More than what God did with Moses or all of these. That it is the Father's will to crush Jesus for our sins, requiring a life for a life to be reconciled to him. No one lays it down for me. I lay it down on my own. Jesus was whipped. He was struck. He was spat on. But he said it was his choice to die for you and me. To give up his life willingly as a ransom for many. The Lamb of God who took away the sins of the world silently bore unimaginable Crowned with thorns, enduring shameless humiliation, suffered, led to death on a cross for our redemption. On the third day, as people cried, scoffed, and scorned, the Father in might and power raised him early morn. The firstborn from the dead, victoriously resurrected, returned to heaven restored fully to his God. This is the gospel, the good news for everyone. Christ glorified, seated at the Father's right hand. His first mission completed, all he needed to do. His second coming awaits. The rest is up to you.